click on Ethernet tab, change the adapter settings. You will see the LAN connection, take the properties. And change the IPv4 address. Uh, same as our uh, the same range of that uh, CP for our 610 router. That uh, 192.168.0. Uh, I put here 0 0.50 because uh, that 0 0.4.254 is the way, uh, the default IP address. So put the gateway uh, 0 0.254. That's the router IP. Exit from the menu. Then you will show the network is connected to the router. Open the Google Chrome browser or any other browser and you put the IP address on the task bar. That, that router read default IP address 192.168.0.254. Uh, proceed to the next step. Now wait for the login menu. Yes, the login page is coming. The username is defaultly admin. Password is admin. You can select the region which uh, you belong. If you are in United States, you can take the United States and now I am in Oman, so I am taking in the Oman region, okay? Some countries does not allow this data transmission, so you have careful about the region, okay? Just look into the page. Now asking for the new user ID and password. Create your new username and password for this modem. And you have to remember this for the future purpose. Click finish. Go to the quick setup mode. Click access point. Click next. If you want to change the IP address, otherwise you can leave it. You can change the SSID if you need. And region is Oman and rest of them you can change the security. Highest security is WBPSK then password and the password and set your distance how much distance you want to cover and enable the max fee that's for the best better security click finish and wait for the router to save the configuration now it's configured as an access point access point enabled so we have to check the other side uh, log out and exit from this menu and open the receiver section Uh, log in the CP510 device and put the user ID and password. User ID, username is also admin and the password is admin. Then login. Uh, I am using CP510 receiver here. So go to the quick setup menu and open the client menu. Next, need to change the IP, uh, router IP address. You can change otherwise leave it and click the survey and you will see that tp link out dot tx that's our cp610 device click on that and then connect okay now it's uh, unlock the access point it's connected asking for the password we have to enter the old receiver as the sender password here okay so the distance settings you, you can change the distance setting anything any number which one uh, 24 anything I finish the setup now the receiver is configuring and wait for the restart 
so here check that is connected uh, that uh, it's connected to the uh, cpu 5610 device so we can check the internet is coming or not open the settings and uh, ethernet and change the adapter settings go to the ipv4 settings and uh, put the ipv4 automatically obtain the ip address automatically ok click ok close the window now see that uh, network i scan uh, is connected so i have used one sender and receiver for this connecting you can use this for the long uh, long distance connections long distance connections can use maybe one to two kilometer or three kilometer it's very easy to come the uh, signals and uh, you all always remember that you should align the antenna in the same direction and the same height okay the center and the receiver in the same direction okay if you like the video please share and subscribe my channel okay thank you for the watching my video we'll see you on the next video thank you friends